They're so, so appreciative of all of our seniors and their families and invited guests. I am Lisa Knott, our school counseling department head, and I would like to at this time introduce our wonderful Principal Morrill to give a welcome. Thank you, Ms. Knott. First of all, give it up for our NJRTC Color Guard, award-winning Color Guard. All-female Color Guard, did you see that? I want to thank Ms. Knott. Ms. Knott is, our, um, is not a new counselor, but she's new to Gaither this year, and I want to thank her for overseeing this event, as well as all of our counselors that are up on stage and uh, the folks that are here, our teachers and staff that are here, we want to thank you. Parents, it starts with you. It starts at home with you when your children were little babies, if you can recall that. I try to recall mine so many years ago. The time goes by fast. But it starts at birth when you're there every single moment for your child, being involved in your children's lives. And I know sometimes there were events that you went to that you didn't feel like going to, that you might have been a little ill, or you were hungry and you wanted to go home and eat, wanted to eat dinner, and the dads, maybe dads had a baseball game on TV or a football game they wanted to watch, but they had to go see their child at a chorus event, right? And it didn't sound so great in the first grade when they were playing that recorder, right? And they were playing it throughout the house, and you allowed them to do that, Maybe they had a drum set like my daughter did. A drum set, full Zildjian drum set in the room and banging on those drums, let me tell you. But you were there and you supported your children and guess what, they're here now receiving some accolades. And it's amazing that our seniors have been able to persevere through COVID, post-COVID, dealing with the challenges that they've had to deal with in the personal lives as parents, the challenges that you've had. It's not easy being a parent today at all. And I have a 27-year-old daughter and a 23-year-old daughter that are doing really well. That if They're out of college finally. They're off the payroll. And everybody says your children are never off your payroll. Mine are off the payroll, okay? But we're still there. My mother one day, one day, who was my teacher here at Gaither, my senior year, told me there's going to be a time, you know, you're, you're older now, you don't need your mother as much. I said, Mom, Dad, I'll always need you. I still call my mother for advice, right? And I'm fortunate to have my parents still alive and in my life. Granted, their health is not that good. So I always tell our young people, take care of your parents because your parents revert back to children when they get older. They don't remember anything when they get older. They don't. They don't know what day it is because they're retired. They may need help getting from the kitchen to the bathroom and you may have to help them and you may see some parts that you may never want to see. But your parents had to deal with you when you were little, right? So be there for your parents because they sacrifice for you. As you get older and you graduate, some of you are going to go away to college. Don't forget to call them because you'll forget your life will get busy. It will get extremely busy. But your parents want to hear from you how you're doing with your grades and how you're progressing, whether you go to college, whether you go to the military, whether you go into the world of work. Things are gonna get tough and challenging, but you can handle it because look what you, where you are now. And you're gonna be graduating soon, and that's a really exciting time. And it's more exciting for your parents that have been with you from day one, who've been pushing you. It's more about them than it is about you. And you're like, wait a minute, what are you talking about? It's about your parents who've done everything behind the scenes to help sacrifice for you. But it is also about you. And I hear a lot of seniors say, hey, I'm done. I'm done. And they walk across the stage and they go, I'm done. 
And I say, no, you're not. You're not done. You are just beginning your life. It's like a bicycle. When you're learning to ride a bicycle and you take the training wheels off and parents push you and off you go. It's like the time that you drove off the driveway for the first time and your parents go, oh my God. And, and parents, you're with me and you know the next part of this journey, just like when they drove off the driveway, if they're leaving your house for the first time, and maybe you have a child that's already gone out of the house, so those parents, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're a parent this is the first time your child is leaving the house, that's the same as it was when they were riding the bicycle by themselves and also driving off the driveway because you have no more control. And you can only say, you know what, I did the best I can or could to help my child see them off so that they can now live their life and be successful and fail along the way because you're going to fail along the way. You're going to fail. We all do. And it's, we're humans. We do fail. But we learn from the failure, we get back on the horse, and then we continue to be positive. So with that being said, I want to say congratulations to our seniors for the accolades that you're going to hear. Parents, again, thank you for being here and supporting Gaither High School. It's a school that I love. I've been here for 10 years. I graduated 1987. Any 87 graduates in the house? See, you know, I, I'm getting old. I know you can't be younger than that, but we're around the same age. But um, I'm very proud, a proud principal of this school, where this school did so much for me. And as the leader, I want to give back. And that's what, why I come here every day for these students, every single one of them. I may not know them by name because we have over 2,100, but so many people want to continue to come to Gaither because it's a phenomenal school. So with that being said, thank you for your attention and let's celebrate our seniors. impressive. We owe that to many people, but I definitely want to applaud the leader, Miss Pam Fred, the bookkeeper, who has multiple more talents, obviously, than just bookkeeping. Give her a hand. <laughs> so good morning again. We are celebrating a tremendously accomplished Gaither Senior Class of 2023. Today we will have awards from our PTSA, multiple entities from the broader Tampa Bay community. All of these have worked with our seniors and want to recognize their specific contributions. We will also have Gaither High School Department and Subject Awards for significant achievements in those departments and subjects. We will have some special presentations for some very accomplished seniors who have excelled tremendously in academics. We will also be acknowledging all of our seniors who are here today who have reached the level of honors graduate, presidential award recognition, who are national merit finalists, and who have had superior performance in our AP Advanced Placement Curriculum. At this time, on behalf of your Gaither High School 
senior class of 2023, I introduce, if you haven't already met her, a wonderful senior class sponsor, Ms. Trumbach, and she will be presenting some Senate awards. All right, seniors. So a couple of things, all right? When you leave, parents, this is for you. There is a bright green sheet of paper outside with an updated last minute reminders. It was sent in Canvas, but we know some of your kids have blocked me. Shame on you. So you need to know dress code. You need to know arrival times. They need to get their debts, things like that paid off. So make sure everybody's checking all those messages in Canvas. Then, today everyone's going to read your name. If you feel like your name was not pronounced exactly as it should be, you need to send me a message in Canvas with your phonetic pronunciation. And some of you have recorded it for me. That's beautiful. So at graduation, you'll know it's you that I'm talking about because I will say your name correctly. So parents, make them do that phonetics, please. All right, then I would like to introduce and thank our seniors that you guys elected to represent you, to do all the work for you all year long. Our first person, class of 2023 Senator Alyssa Delgado. You guys come on up, get your certificate. Parents can take their pictures. Next one up, Alex Wilkes, class senator. Our class secretary, Hannah Tassioni. Our Vice President, Payote Leliotis. And last but not least, your Class of 2023, President Tori Carson. They are the ones who have been working behind the scenes for you guys. So let's give them all another round of applause, please. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Janelle Smith from our PTSA for a special presentation. As usual, she is working and so she is on her way. Thank you all to all our PTSA volunteers who have helped with so many things this year and especially this morning. Thank you again. Thank you very much. Um, as she said, I'm Janelle Smith, PTSA president uh, again for next year also. Uh, PTSA, I know people come to mind that you need to be here serving cookies, saying hi, doing whatever. It's strength in numbers, so I just encourage all of you guys to join PTSA because you don't have to be here, but when we go somewhere and we say we have 500 members, we get more of a voice and we get to be able to be part, of, we get more people to be part of a vote, so please join, that's a shameless plug. Uh, PTSA advocates for the physical, mental, and overall well-being of the students, and the three students that we have uh, scholarships for, each will get a $500 scholarship, have all exemplified this, and I have known each of them since early elementary, and it's been a huge privilege of mine to watch them grow, but it's no surprise where they are right now because the parents that have raised them, the teachers that have inspired them, and then the students that they have constantly helped, supported, have all benefited from the amazing people that these three individuals are. And without further ado, I'd like to call up Parker Brogan, Sienna Eisen, and Alex Wilkes.
At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Julia Fillett, the enrollment coordinator for our Hillsborough Community College Honors College for a special presentation. Good morning and congratulations seniors again. Hillsborough Community College Honors Program offers many scholarships. Today, I am here to present a senior, the HCC Honors Presidential Scholarship. This scholarship, ladies and gentlemen, covers 12 credits per semester up to 72 credits. The scholarship also includes a $400 book stipend each semester totaling for a grand total of over $9,000. It is my pleasure to introduce the recipient of the Presidential Honors Scholarship, Gabriela Rojas. Awesome, thank you, Ms. Thillette, and congratulations again. At this time, I would like to introduce the Vice President of Operations for Seminole Electric Co-op, Mr. Charlie Wabina, for a special presentation. So I have a speech. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Seminole Electric Cooperative, we're actually located right across the street. Uh, we've been at this location going back to uh, the early 80s, um, and we're happy and proud to be able to award a scholarship to a graduating senior each year. In fact, this is our 21st year as partner with Gaither High to assist in its graduates in the continuation of their studies. Our scholarship award to a high school senior who has made great impact to the community consists of a one-time award of $2,500 payable to a college or a university of their choice. This year's recipient of Seminole Scholarship has not only excelled academically, but has also demonstrated a strong commitment to the Tampa community with nearly 100 hours of community service in the Tampa Bay area, including Feeding Tampa Bay, Metropolitan Ministries, and the Special Olympics. This year's recipient has been accepted to the University of Florida to pursue a major in journalism and digital media, media production and technology. So, we've got a drum roll. It is my pleasure to announce and present the 2023 Seminole Community Election Excellent scholarship to Zachary Talji. Did I pronounce that correctly? Zachary? Okay. Well, I guess Zachary couldn't make it today. <laughs> he's, at, he's at what? He's at Florida. He's, he's at Florida. <laughs> so we thank you so much. What a wonderful, wonderful ongoing commitment that Seminole Electric has to Gaither High School. And we will certainly congratulate Zachary. I had the opportunity to look at his application and I applaud everything that you just said. Thank you so much. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Mitchell of Leadership Development Resources. <clears throat> At
And along with him is Mr. Gene Mosley, who from Leadership Development Resources, some of you are going to recognize as he is our actual campus uh, person who works with you as students. Here you go, Mr. Mitchell. Good morning. First of all, I, I would like to thank Mr. Morrill, and Mr. Mazard, and the rest of the staff for allowing us to be a part of your campus and your school. Uh, we had the honor to present a program uh, called Leadership Development Resources, uh, and our program is geared towards students who may not know exactly what they want to do when they leave school, and we help them for, uh, find career jobs. So in some of the topics that we talked about was character development, self-awareness, socialization skills, leadership strategies, dress for success, and resume writing. And I'd just like to thank you guys for allowing us to be here this year, and we appreciate it. And uh, we hope that we um, did a great job with you guys, and we appreciate what you allowed us to do. At this moment, I'm going to introduce uh, Gene Mosley, your representative here, and we'll go ahead and get out the awards. Uh, good morning. Um, I see a couple of you out in the audience today just I want to thank you all for allowing me to be a part of your campus and work with you all. It was great to see uh, some of the individuals grow from the first day I met to the individuals that you are today. And all I can do is hope that the knowledge and information that we provided for you with our activities, that you can take that on in the future and be the best you can be in life. Uh, for those students who are here, if once you receive your award, if you can just stay up for a moment so we can take a quick picture and I'll have that for you. Uh, the first person would be Jamari Adams. Not here. Uh, the second one is Tanaja Combs. Oh, she's here. Uh, the next one is Ariana Echeverria. Our next student is Manuel Paez. Our next student is uh, John Turner. Rodriguez. And that's all of our seniors for Leadership Development Resources 2023. Now we're going to proceed to our academic department awards. Each department and subject in our school would like to recognize some outstanding seniors. So first of all, we're going to welcome Mr. Harold and Ms. Plant to present their Perseverance Awards. First award. Ready? Let me see. 
Um, these awards are really special for our Access Point students here at Gaither High School. We are giving them the Perseverance Award today. Perseverance is doing something despite difficulty and achieving success. Our Gaither Access class of 2023 has shown us just that, and it has been such a privilege to teach them these past few years. We are so proud to recognize the following seniors for the Perseverance Award. The first award goes to Maverick Acevedo. The next award goes to Ali Copeland. The next award goes to Nevin Green. The next award, Jason Johnson. Next award goes to Jabari Judge.
Our next department award is Ms. Trumbach with our government award. All right. This is U.S. Government Honors Best Student of the Year, Olivia West. Next, if we have Ms. Denega present for the Math Department Awards, wonderful. Hi. Um, so I am presenting for the Math Department. We have three people that we want to um, award. Uh, I was lucky enough to have all three of these people in class, and they all made me a better teacher in different ways. For the Perseverance Award um, uh, in mathematics, we have uh, Nure, uh, I'm going to butcher it, Nure, you know it, um, Ismay Ilova. <laughs> Quick story on Nure. I had her in Algebra 2, and within a month she said, I like you, but I'm sorry, i got to go on to honors. Um, and she's continued that. Second is um, Excellence in Mathematics, Alexandra Obediente. And third um, is the Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics, Miss Olivia West. Awesome achievements there in our math department. Up next, we have Ms. Weeks presenting for our science department awards. Thank you everyone for attending. Our seniors have done some amazing work in science and all three of our Award winners today were nominated by multiple teachers and the entire science department did come to consensus. The first that I would like to give out is for outstanding physical sciences student, Ms. Nicole Bosmier. Our second outstanding student is outstanding biological sciences student, Ms. Gabriella. Geraldo, and Geraldo, I'm sorry if I mispronounced. <laughs> Our overall outstanding science student is Jacob Langford. Some wonderful, outstanding achievements in science. Up next, we have our physical education department with Coach North making some special presentations. All right, good morning. Hey, congratulations to you seniors. I hope you all are going to graduate. Um, physical education, as we all know, is the backbone of any good high school. And uh, I'm just kidding, but. Um, we do have two students that really, uh, you know, Coach Boylan, Coach Carson, uh, Coach Champion, we all, Coach Scott, talked about this. And uh, the first, I think this young lady has taken every physical education um, course we have. And it is Keita Pedro Willis.
right, I'm going to continue. Um, the next is a young man that literally I had as a freshman. Um, has become almost a colleague to the PE department, and it is no other than Colin Roderick. And if I could just leave you all with one bit of advice, remember this as you go on in your life. Earn and deserve every success you desire. And if you, remember, if you understand what the word earn and deserve means, you'll understand that statement. I wish you all the best of luck. Never give up. Here we go. Thank you for those awards. Up next, I believe we have Ms. Sparks representing the business department to make some special awards for those students who have excelled in our various curriculums within the business department. Good morning. Um, in business, we have all come to this consensus as well, and we would like to nominate three students. Our first is our Business Department Senior of the Year. This student is a well-rounded individual who has taken many different business technology classes over the years, including Digital Information Technology, Digital Design 1 and 2, and AP Computer Science Principles. He has been an active member of FBLA, taking part in events and competitions, and has strengthened his leadership skills when he was voted into the role of an FBLA officer. He has excelled in design and technology and earned many industry certifications. Congratulations and good luck to William Davis. Our next student is the Customer Service Senior of the Year. This student displays all the characteristics and behaviors needed to be a successful customer service representative. And we are proud to have him represent the business department. He has an outgoing and charismatic attitude that makes you feel like you've known him for years. And his happy-go-lucky personality is so contagious. Thank you for everything you've done over the years in customer service and in guidance. Congratulations, Eric Morrison. And last but not least, we have a special award um, for our club, FBLA. This student has been an active member of our club for the past two years. They have made a positive contribution to our club and participated in all the events, all the projects, all the fundraisers, and even took over the president's job. They have placed at the district and state competitions for the past two years, as well as representing Gaither at national FBLA conferences and last summer in Chicago. Come on up, Ms. Faye Brooks. You're our FBLA Senior of the Year. Thank you. Continuing on with our department awards, um, from our career and technical education program, Ms. Marlin was not able to be here. I just want to check in the room and make sure no one else from CTE is here. If not, I'm going to go forward with recognizing those wonderful students in our CTE program. First, for best automotive student, we have Christopher Fagan.
Come on down. For the best agricultural student, we have Benjamin Canoza. For our best engineering tech student, Maria Arsis. For our best student in our early child care development program, Jada Hill. For our best student in our drafting multitude of courses, Nicholas Vetrano. Our best and outstanding student in TV production, Audrey Robbins. Next, we are going to recognize some outstanding students in our English department. Ms. Sinclair was unable to be here, but let's start off with our outstanding overall English student, Gage Greenlaw. The English department would also like to recognize the outstanding creative writing student, Adriana Ballesteros. <laughs> Next in fine arts, I see Mr. Alvarez here, so I will welcome him up to the stage for a special presentation in fine arts. So I will be presenting the awards in the Fine Arts Department. Um, first, we start with uh, pottery. And the award for Best Aesthetic and Work Ethic Potter, Catherine Miller. The award for Very Creative Potter, Adianis Molina. Yeah. Next, uh, the award for Best Band Student, and I'll speak a little bit about this. Um, so, in band, we ask our students to set the example. We want them to set the example uh, in their academics. We want them to set the example through leadership and musically. The person that we've chosen for this award has been a leader for the past three years in our leadership program. They have uh, made, just in high school, all four years, the all-county band, which means that they're one of the best uh, students in, or music students in, in, the, in the county. They've also, the last three years, oh, sorry, uh, three out of the four years made Allstate, which means they're one of the best uh, music, musicians in the state. And the one year that this person didn't make Allstate, they made the All-National Band, which means they're one of the best bassoonists in the country. And just to put the icing on top, she's also one of our two valedictorians. Would Sarah Fernandez come up to the stage? And last but not least, 
we have the Director's Award for Outstanding Thespian. That goes to Jillian Abarca. A few more wonderful departments coming around. I'd like to recognize from World Languages, on behalf of Ms. Cartagena, the awesome Spanish student, Jennifer Rodriguez Alonzo. I'd also like to recognize Quasi in the Business Department, and we know you have your own celebration, but we'd like to recognize you as part of this larger group, our top NJRTC Senior of the Year, Austin Truman. At this time, we have completed some of our department awards, and I'm going to introduce to you, whom you already wonderfully know, our wonderful assistant principal of curriculum, Ms. Rebecca Wickham, and she's going to be doing some special awards to some of our even high performer academic scholars. Thank you, Ms. Knott. Good morning, everyone. All right, I get it, I get it. All right, the Gaither High School top scholars include this year's Honor Circle graduates who are ranked as the top 11 students of the senior class, as well as our Tampa Tribune Honor students who are ranked in the top 3% of the senior class. I am pleased to present the top scholar award to the following students. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'll read the names and you can come up and grab your award. So to start us off, Dylan Alfonso. Maria Arsis, Taylor Dittman, Alma Dominguez, Sarah Fernandez, Sienna Eisen, Aliana Joya, Panayota Laliotis, Jacob Langford, Ronald Wynn, Michelle Paveda, Bill Simpson, Patrick Tanoi Jawa. I tried. Alexandra Wilkes. These students are the best of the best. They are our top 11. Congratulations. And in that same vein, I would now like to turn it over to uh, Mr. Morrill, our principal, to present to you the class of 2023 valedictorians and the principal's award. Mr. Morrill. These two students are very unique in the fact that they are buddies and they planned this, which is totally incredible and unique. 
Now, Gaither has a history, and it goes far back where we did actually have three valedictorians. They all had the same grade point average. So this is the second time, and it's been a long time since we've had co-valedictorians. Sometimes there's a lot of competition among students to become valedictorian. Some, some you know, just happened to be it. They weren't planning it. But these two students are very unique to Gaither High School, very special. And I won't um, elaborate, but you all are in for a treat at graduation when you hear their speech. And that's all I'm going to say, because it's, I've been doing this a long time. And this is the first speech of one of its kind that I've ever heard before. So I call our co-valedictorians, Michelle Poveda and Sarah Fernandez. And this young man is a phenomenal young man. It's very hard, every year it gets harder and harder to give the principal's award to a student. And I'll tell you, if I had a son, which I'm blessed to have daughters, no men in my family, none, they're all gone. I'm it. <laughs> but this young man is phenomenal in everything he's done and achieved this school year. And the, this year's Principal's Award goes to Dylan Alfonso. Yeah. Okay, so we are at another wonderful part in our senior assembly where all the people here are in a sense going to be honored again and we're going to read the names in fact we're going to read the names of some of the ones who haven't joined us because you'll be able to see on a powerpoint a picture of each one of our seniors who is part of this assembly and some of the things that they're being honored with so what we will ask is that the first row of seniors stand up because you are alphabetized. We're going to walk this way and you're going to come up the stairs, all right? And then each row will follow the ushers and follow their directions, but you'll be doing what this first row is doing where you're going to come up this way. You're going to go across. You'll get to shake Mr. Merle's hand and some of you will have an additional envelope. It might not necessarily be everyone, but it's an additional envelope for if you're being recognized for honors or the presidential certificate, okay? And the nice thing is we will know the ones of you who are here because you will bring those little cards from the backs of your seat. And if there is an envelope for you, they will trade your card for your envelope, okay? And then each row will follow this. Now listen very carefully, students. When you exit on the side of the stage, you need to go all the way down to the back and go to where I see Miss Nadine, our wonderful secretary, and she's going to show you to go through the doors behind the live streaming, okay? And that's why you can't cut in front of it. So if you have any questions as you go, someone will help you. But I see the wonderful first row is already standing. And they do begin with our last name starting with A. So your counselors for the parts of the alphabet that you are in are going to read all the names and we're going to be able to follow on the PowerPoint. And so we just thank you again. So this part will take a little bit of time, but it's going to be a wonderful honoring to you all. 
and maybe a preparation for that wonderful graduation ceremony that's also coming up. So let us get started now with Ms. Upper Q reading the names of her students. And the students, please move. Thank you. We are starting with Jillian Abarca. Jillian is an honors grad and received the Outstanding Thespian Award. And if you could hold your applause to the end, that would be great. Thank you. Uh, Maverick Acevedo is not here with us at the moment, but he received the Perseverance Award. Jamari Adams is not here with us at the moment, but he received the Achievement Award. I know that some of these um, people are watching from home as well as their parents is watching from work in their offices. Dylan Alfonso just walked across the stage. He is a Tampa Tribune scholar. He's receiving a presidential certificate. He is an honors grad. He received the principal's award, and he is also an advanced placement scholar. Next, we have Soledad Allen, who is an honors graduate, and Matea Amayo, and he is also an honors graduate. Then we have Eric Angelo, he is an honors graduate. Maria Arsis is a Tampa Tribune scholar. She is receiving the presidential certificate today. She's an honors graduate. She was our outstanding engineering student, and she is also an advanced placement scholar with distinction. Next, we have Alexandra Ayala Miller. She is an honors graduate. And then Isabel Imat Harshaw, who is an honors graduate. Next is Victoria Bacon. She is an honors graduate. And Adriana Ballesteros, who is an honors graduate and also our outstanding creative writing student. Next, we have Christian Barbosa. Christian is an honors graduate. He is making his way across the stage now. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Bradley Basham. Bradley is receiving a presidential certificate. He is an honors graduate, and he is also an advanced placement scholar. Next, Riley Beausoleil. Riley is an honors graduate. Then Cecilia Beltran. Cecilia is an honors graduate. Yangner Bermudez is an honors graduate. Next, we have Logan Bosik. He is receiving a presidential certificate and is also an honors graduate. Joanna Marie Bodo is receiving a presidential certificate and she is also an honors graduate. Nicole Bosmere is receiving a presidential certificate she is an honors graduate, and she was our outstanding physical sciences student. Terry Bonifant is an honors graduate. Parker Brogan is an honors graduate. Faye Brooks is receiving a presidential certificate. She is an honors graduate. She was the Future Business Leaders of America Senior of the Year, and she is also an Advanced Placement Scholar. Jenna Burden. Jenna is an honors graduate and also an Advanced Placement Scholar. Evan Campbell. Evan is an honors graduate.
Zoe Cartmill. Zoe is an honors graduate. Aspen Cartwright. Aspen is an honors graduate. Daniel Carvajal is an honors graduate. Edgardo Castillo Pedrosa is an honors graduate. Stephen Servan is an honors graduate. Eric Chacon is an honors graduate. Tyler Chow is receiving a presidential certificate and is also an honors graduate. Nyan Clark is an honors graduate. Bella Clarkson is an honors graduate. Darren Cogiel is an honors graduate. Cameron Colon is an honors graduate. We're going to switch over so Ms. Caban can come up and we'll be reading her list as well for us. Good morning, everybody. And I'm going to be starting to call uh, Cope, uh, Alejandria Copeland. She's going to be the Perseverance Award. OK, the next one is Cordil uh, Gianna Cordiglioni. She's going to get the honors. She's an honors grab. Mia Cordova. She's an honors grad. Now is Anna Koss. She's an honors grad. Oh my God, I can't see very well. <laughs> Sorry. Alexis Curry is an honors grad. Ashley Costin, she's going to get the presidential certificate and is an honors grad. She has the AP Scholar with honors. William Davis, he's going to get the Business Technology Senior of the Year. Alessa Delgado. Alisa Delgado is an honors grad, and she gets the class, she's the class senator. Christian Delgado, he's an honors grad. Christian Delgado, I already told him, Taylor Dittman. She's a Tampa Tribune scholar, and this, she's an honors grad. Sophie Doherty, she's an honors grad. Alma Dominguez, she's a Tampa TV scholar. She's gonna get the presidential certificate. She's an honors grad and she's an AP scholar with distinction. Alexander Donovan, He's an honors grad. <laughs> uh, Madison Dornan, she's an honors grad. Uh, Bing Dong, he's gonna get the presidential certificate. He's an honors grad. Garrett Duran, he's an honors grad. Ariana Echevarria, she's going to get the Achievement Award. Brooke Elder, 
She's an honest grad. Nicholas Ellenbaum, he's, uh, he's gonna get a presidential certificate and he's an honors grad. Christopher Fagan, outstanding automobile student. Aisha Fashalo, she's an honors grad. Fashola. <laughs> Walker Farigo, honors grad. Liliana Fabara, presidential certificate, and she's going to get the honors. She's an honors grad. Sarah Fernandez, she's a Tampa TV scholar. She's the president. She's going to get a presidential certificate. She's an honors grad. She's the band student of the year, valedictorian, national merit scholar, finalist, and AP scholar with distinction. Kayla Figueroa, honors grad. Sofia Figueroa, honors grad. Xavier Figueroa, honors grad. Lauren Foley, honors grad. Emmanuel Francis. It's a presidential certificate and an honors grant. Carl Fur, an honors grant. Kaylee Gavney, she's an honors grant. Melanie Gallardo, honors grad. Genesis Garcia Reyes, honors grad. Giovanni Garrido, president certificate and honors grad and AP scholar. Robert Gear, President Certificate and Honors Grad, AP Scholar with Honors. David George, a Presidential Certificate and Honors Grad. Gabriela Giraldo, Honors Grad, Outstanding Biology Science Student. Eric Giraldo, honors grad. Charlie Gold, honors grad. Jessica Gonzalez, honors grad. Giuliane Gonzalez, honors grad. Nevin Green, Perseverance Award. Gage Greenlaw, Presidential Certificate, Honors Grad, and Outstanding English Student. Karen Guarín Mesa, Presidential Certificate, Honors Grad. Ian Guzman, Honors Grad. I'm not gonna turn my microphone to Ms. Odom. Thank you. Good morning, beautiful people. All right. First up, Samuel Wynn, honor graduate. Thank you. Sarah Halabi, honor graduate and AP scholar. Lillian Halls, Honor graduate and AP scholar. 
Bryce Hanlon will receive the presidential certificate. He's an honor graduate as well. Haley Harnage is an honor graduate. Samuel Heber is an honor graduate. Jordan Hernandez is an honor graduate. John Hickerson, presidential certificate, honor graduate, and AP scholar. Archie Hill, presidential certificate, and honor graduate. Jada Hill, received the Outstanding Early Child Care Student Award. Justin Hill, presidential certificate, and an honor graduate. Samuel Ferrezzo, honor graduate. Nure Ismailova received the Persistence Award in Mathematics. Sienna Eisen is a Tampa Tribune Scholar, a received the Presidential Certificate, an honor graduate, and an AP Scholar with distinction. Lucas Jeremillo Garcia, Presidential Certificate, an honor grad. Anaya Jean Baptiste is an honor graduate. Jason Johnson received the Perseverance Award. Aliana Joya, Tampa Tribune Scholar and Honor Graduate. Jabari Judge received the Perseverance Award. Benjamin Canoza received the Outstanding Agricultural Student Award. Victoria Carson, Honor Graduate and Class President. Faith Knight, Honor Graduate. Niarcy Legares, Honor Graduate. Andrea Legre Beers, Presidential Certificate and Honor Graduate. Peniota Leotis, Tampa Tribune Scholar, Honor Graduate and Class Vice President. Mia Lane, Honor Grad. Jacob Langford, Tampa Tribune Scholar, Presidential Certificate, Honor Grad and Overall Outstanding Science Student. Reina Larobis, Presidential Certificate, Honor Grad, and AP Scholar. Cameron Lawson, Honor Grad. Hope Lewis, Perseverance Award. Clark Lincoln, Presidential Certificate, and Honor Grad. Megan Loren, Honor Grad. Genesis Medrill, honor grad. Lilia Maxitice, she's an honor grad. Javier Marino, honor grad. Carmen Marquina, honor grad. Cammie Martin, Presidential Certificate and Honor Grad. Tulio Martinez, Honor Grad. And Trinity Mayer, Presidential Certificate and Honor Grad. Now we have Ms. Fowler. All right, I have MC through RA. First we have Dustin McDuffie Bozeman with a Perseverance Award. 
Brenna McEwen, sorry if I butcher any of them, honor grad, Samuel McIntosh, honor grad, Kaylee Milan, honor grad, Katherine Miller, she received the Presidential Certificate, an honor grad, work ethic and aesthetics in pottery, and she is also an AP scholar. Adianis Molina, honor grad, Creative Potter Award. Eric Morrison, Customer Service Senior of the Year. Cassidy Munnings, honor graduate. Elise Murray, honor graduate. Jubei Namfingson, honor graduate. Isaac Nashig, he received the Presidential Certificate, honor grad, and AP Scholar with Distinction. Ronald Nguyen, he's a Tampa Tribune Scholar, Presidential Certificate, honor graduate, and AP Scholar with Distinction. Jacob Wynn, honor graduate. Mivy Wynn, honor graduate. Alexandra Obediente, presidential certificate, honor graduate, and excellence in mathematics. Addison O'Connor, honor graduate. Timothy O'Neill, Presidential Certificate and Honor Grad. Fiona O'Neill, Honor Grad. Camilla Ortega Pineda, Honor Graduate. Nicholas Orthoffer, Presidential Certificate and Honors Graduate. Selinette Ortiz, Honor Grad. Ava Owens, Presidential Certificate and Honors Grad. Cameron Packer with the Perseverance Award. Keita Pedro Willis, Honors Graduate and Excellence in Physical Education. Manuel Paez, Achievement Award. Michael Paterno, Honor grad. Alex Paulino, presidential certificate, honors graduate. Sierra Payne, honors graduate. She was a December grad. Benjamin Peabody, presidential certificate and honors graduate. Julia Pena, presidential certificate, honors graduate. Josiah Pena, honor grad. Elias Perez, honor graduate. Aiden Perez Chanthavong, honor grad. Brandon Pierre Charles, honor graduate. Joseph Polonia Pasquale, honor grad. Michelle Paveda, Tampa Tribune Scholar, Presidential Certificate, Honors Graduate, Valedictorian. And Peyton Raymond, Presidential Certificate, Honor Grad and AP Scholar with Distinction. Good morning, parents. Good morning, class of 2023. Oh, you guys can do better than that. Parents, I personally would like to thank you all for the unwavering support and involvement. Without you, this would not be possible. And students, 
I am ecstatic and elated by the amount of hard work and dedication that you guys put in. And I'm just going to leave you a quote by yours truly. If you settled for mediocrity, you would never realize your true potential. And that hard work pays off. Okay, without further ado, Colette Rochelle, honors grad and AP scholar, Kayla Rechtenwald, honors grad, Alexander Reyes, presidential certificate, honors grad, Alba Ricardo. Puente, Presidential Certificate, Honors Grad, Joshua Rios, Honors Grad, Jorge Rivera, Presidential Certificate, Honors Grad, Audrey Robbins, Honors Grad, Outstanding TV Production Student, Colin Roderick, honors grad, best male in physical education. Will Rodriguez, achieving award recipient. Marilise Rodriguez, honors grad. Jennifer Rodriguez Alfonso. Outstanding Spanish Award recipient, Sarah Rodriguez Mora, Presidential Certificate, Honors Grad, Daniel, I'm sorry, Carolyn Rodriguez Perez, Honors Grad, Daniel Rogers, Perseverance Award. Gabriela Rojas, Presidential Certificates, Honors Grad, HCC Honors Presidential Award Recipient, Isabel Rojas, Honors Grad, Desiree Romero, Honors Grad, Alejandro Roque, Honors Grad, Kathleen Rosales, Presidential Certificates, Honors Grad, Alexis Rosario, Honors Grad, Michaela Roy, Perseverance Award recipient, Alexandria Roker, Achievement Award recipient, Christian Russell, honors grad. Celine Sanchez, honors grad. Lindsay Santos Velasquez, honors grad. Mia Schwartz, honors grad. Remington Scott, honors grad. Gabriel Serna, Perseverance Award recipient. Maria Serna Cardona, Honors Grad. Gracie Shawshank, Honors Grad. Bill Simpson, Tampa Tribune Award recipient, Certificate Award recipient, Honors Grad and AP Scholars recipient, Nation Smith, honors grad, Jason Smoker, certificate, presidential certificates, honors grad, John Pierre Solis Quinones, presidential certificate, honors grad, Ariana Sosa, honors grad, Jake Sotelo, honors grad. 
Dante Suverain. Presidential Certificates, Honors Grad, Andrea Suni, Honors Grad, Patrick Tano Joya, President Tampa Tribune Award, Presidential Certificates, Honors Grad, and AP Scholar, Hannah Tessioni, Presidential Certificates, Honors Grad, Kara Taylor, Honors Grad. Thank you all. Thank you. Now for the remaining part of the alphabet that Ms. Nod has, our first name is Zachary Thalji, which we understand had to be away at a UF. He has the presidential certificate and he is Yes, yes we are. Kyra Thomas, who has the presidential certificate and is an honors grad. Isaac Toombs, who has honors graduate designation. Jeremy Tidwell is an honors grad. Robert Tortola is a presidential certificate holder and an honors grad. Trudy Tran, honors graduate. Austin Truman, honors graduate and was the NJRTC Senior of the Year. Elena Tucker, honors graduate. Timothy Valdez, honors graduate. Matthew Vasquez, honors graduate. Amari Vassar, honors graduate. Hiromi Valiz Vance, honors graduate. Ava Vergara, honors graduate. Nicholas Bertrano, honors graduate and outstanding drafting student. Emma Voigt, honor grad. Michelle Wang, honor grad. Olivia West, Presidential Certificate, Honor Grad, was the Outstanding Government Award and Outstanding Math, and is, she is also a National Merit Scholarship Finalist. <laughs> Alexander Wilkes, Tampa Tribune Scholar, Presidential Certificate, Honors Grad, and Class Senator. Aubrey Williams is an Honor Graduate. Jehanda Williams, Honor Graduate. Kendall Williams, honors graduate. Alex Wimmert, honor graduate. Jason Wirtz is an honor graduate. And Dominic Zarcone, honor graduate. Let's just take a moment. And I'm going to ask for a round of applause in a minute for graduates, but I'd like to ask the, all of you to give a round of applause for all of our wonderful counselors, Caban, Ms. Fowler, Mr. Uh, Ms. Odom, Mr. Mazard, Ms. Upper Q. Ms. Kaliz is in the uh, AV booth, the PTSE, special volunteer, Ms. Wood, and so many other people, I can't even name them all. We've already said Ms. Fareed and Ms. Wonderful, Nadine, who both man doors fabulously in the back for us. Thank you again for recognizing all of their hard work to bring you this presentation today. Okay, class of 2023, we hope that you, your families, and all of our guests have enjoyed this presentation. Those of you who received the Tampa Tribune are the Val and Sal Awards and the Pre Principal Award. We do have boxes for your awards if you'd like to come for them. And as we do a round of applause, I'm going to let you know you may exit the back and there are refreshments waiting. So let's give ourselves a round of applause, class of 2023. Thank you.